Ladies and gentlemen, this is my painting right here turned sideways. And this painting is called Me Dion. And we know that this painting is called Mona Lisa. This is Me Dion. This is the Mona Lisa. This image is right here in the Mona Lisa. This image right here that I will be showing you is the same image that is right, very difficult to see, is right here. Blown up. Now I'm going to sit down and I'm going to try to use the mouse to show in detail the exact image that's in mine that is in the Mona along with the other x-rays I have on some of my YouTubes. Look at the three x-rays and uh, that I've put up recently. But if you take the Medion, which is this one, and you overlay it over the top, it fits identically. If I drop this down, you will see this image here and this image here is this image, half of it here and then buried in white and it's this image. They match up exactly. Boom. Exactly. Okay, now the additional images, if you take a look at this image here, that's in this main face that I call a dog and also call a skeleton head, this, this face here is the same as this face here, as well as this whole face here is this, but it's under different chemicals that in which he did. He was obviously a code man. So you watch this image match 100% in this circle and you'll see these particular pieces match up with this angle in here. There they are. The same. Now, why does mine not turn white? It's because he used different transparencies. That image right here is as plain as day and night in the Mona, which is this image. <clears throat> this image here, which you can see the little circle, is the same as the little circle that you can see in this little image before it gets blown up that becomes the bigger image that becomes in here. Now, what is very unusual, <clears throat> you will see something additional that I would love for you to see. Um, if I take this here, and I take this one here, and I overlay it, they line up inside the skeleton. And the way you can tell, he overlapped it. If you see here his leg crisscross, he overlays and overlays. His leg goes here and crisscrosses. Then he does it again larger. His leg crosses and, and whatnot. Here's his hat. That's the way Leo did. He puts thousands of the same image in the image. There it is. The same. My painting is the new painting that is called Me Dion, which is the older Mona Lisa. 
Now if I take this and I put this over here, just leave this over here for right now, and I take this and I put this heel, and I take this and I move it right here, and I go over to rotate, counter, and then I'll reduce it. That is the older Mona Lisa as you can see. She is a total of 55 years of his entire career is in this in this work. He was a great code man. Now if you take a look at this right here and it moves across here like this, it looks like a Santa sock backwards. Then this is an E, then an O, and then he makes his N, like that's the way he makes his N, and then you got A R D O, Leonardo. I will be giving you more YouTubes. I'm sorry it's been a while. I had to been fighting the will, and uh. It's now I'll be doing a lot of YouTubes. I do want to say God bless. I hope uh, you give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Follow, please, and uh, pass it on to your friends. It's very, very educational. I put a book out. If you're interested, you can go to my Gmail on my websites that will be listed. It's called Me. Dion Passion at gmail.com and you can uh, find out the price it's called Passion of Love. God bless. Thank you.